This is Stephanie McIntosh, President of NTC Language Services. In today's tutorial, we are going to demonstrate what the screen looks like for participants who are participating in a Zoom meeting using the interpretation channel. Many organizations will choose to use the interpretation channel for large group meetings or simultaneous interpretation. As a participant, you will be invited to the meeting via either a link or a passcode. In order to join the meeting, you would either click on the link, which I'm going to demonstrate here, or type in the passcode on the button that says join. For many participants, it is easier to join via a link that can come in a text message or an email. This is a sample link. It'll tell you the meeting topic, the time of the meeting, and give you the ability to join the Zoom meeting. If I open Zoom, I will now have a screen pop up that will tell me that the meeting host will let me in. Sometimes when you get this, it means that the host is not ready or they put you in what's called a waiting room. Upon joining the meeting, I can click that I want to use my computer audio. And I am now connected and able to participate in the meeting. As a participant, you will see that down here on the right hand side, we have an interpretation button. If I would like to listen to the audio for the meeting in a language other than English or utilize the interpretation services that have been provided for me, I will click on interpretation and join the other audio channel, which in this case is Spanish. We can see down here that I have joined the Spanish audio channel by seeing the Spanish ES. I will now be able to hear the interpretation that has been provided for me by the professional interpreter. When I want to leave the meeting or go back to the English meeting, I can click on English. On some meetings, you will still be able to hear the original speaker at a lower percent. What I can do here is mute the original audio, and I will only hear the person who is speaking in my chosen language. As a participant, I do have the ability to go between the different language rooms by clicking on this button. Once the host has stopped interpretation, we will see that that button will disappear and all participants will return to the main meeting. We can see here that language interpretation has been ended by the host and we are all now in the main meeting. Should you have any questions about how to use the Zoom interpretation channel, require an interpreter for an upcoming meeting, or if you're interested in interpretation or translation services, please contact NTC Language Services. NTC Language Services, creating a world without limits, one word at a time.